So most people skip past the NBA 2K stories. They just, they want to jump straight into the multiplayer. Grind your player, go to multiplayer. But this year, I actually kind of have fun with the story mode. So instead of skipping past it, I figured I'd do the opposite and I'll dive deep. I'm counting all the flaws, imperfections, inconsistencies. Every error 2K has made in their story, I'm dialing in. So let's see how 2K did. It's kind of ironic the intro scene highlights interactions you can't even have in the real game. Yo, you know we getting a lot of comments on this video we just uploaded, right? Hold on, hold on, let me go find it. Oh, you gotta love those in-depth insights from your manager slash statistician. All right, look, it's, it's nice that we're making enough money to pay your rent off your socials, yeah, but- Yeah, barely. Hold on, you got millions of followers online, but you can't afford rent in an 800 square foot apartment? This is not adding up to me, man. Establishing yourself as a basketball star. Everything comes off of that. Like, no one wants to start a fashion line with the 15th man on the team. Hey, Surprisingly, that's very good advice. Like, you know, if you want to get a little run in while you think it over, you should hit up some of the courts around the city. I mean, they got some great ballers out there. Good pickup games. No, they don't. Stop it. Go talk to Chad. Go talk to AI. Get your mind right. And then come back and we can talk business. Go there, interact. Go there, interact. That's video gaming at its finest. It's a productivity app that I downloaded, all right? All right, now, it's still in beta, so there might still be some bugs, but... Let's you keep track of all kinds of stuff from the same screen. 2K acknowledging their inevitable bugs is peak self-awareness, but also kind of sad. You need to start thinking about juggling practice and meetings, interviews. Interviews? What do you mean interviews? I'm here to play ball. That other stuff, that's gonna have to work itself out. Naive protagonist? Check. Wise support character? Check. You completed back to back to back to back cutscenes in your apartment. Achievement unlocked. Oh, never mind. There's another one. All right, look, just give me the guy number. I'll make the I call. I never said they were guys. I mean, that's a really old school way of thinking. Mmm, thank you for that. I'm enlightened now. I may think I know it, but now it's time for you to show it. Let's I mean, do it. One thing to say you can show up, but now it's time to show out, right? If you prove it to these guys, turn some heads, your stock will only rise. How many times can you say the same thing, but in a different way? Hey, neighbor. Are you? Jake from State Farm. Oh, you hang out here, bro? Yeah. <laughs> hey, speaking of being a good neighbor, I'd like to welcome you to the city. Ah, uh, yeah, that's 50 fouls for that unapologetical ad, but minus 25 for the seamless integration. Speaking of ads. Hey, I appreciate that voiceover agent because this video is sponsored by Keeps. Keeps is a subscription service that helps men keep their hair. They offer clinically proven medications to help prevent the symptoms of hair loss. Well, let's go through the reasons why you should try it. For one, they're affordable. They're typically half the price of pharmacy prices. Two, it's mad convenient. Everything you need gets delivered straight to your door. And three, all the treatment plans are personalized with doctor recommendations and they have 24 seven support should you need it. Most customers know results within six months of trying keeps they have a network of medical advisors prescribers and care specialists to support you in making your hair goals a reality and that's great trust the experts and if you ever have any questions they'll be there at all times to answer them for you and when you hear crazy stats like two out of three men experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35 and that the best way to prevent hair loss is to do something while you still have the hair at that point, the decision becomes pretty easy. And on top of that right there, Keeps is offering you a fantastic deal. If you click the top link in the description or go to keeps.com slash agent zero zero, you get 50% off your first order. So go on, man. I know you want to. Again, that's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash agent zero zero. Go over there and get your savings. And remember, like, like a, a good, good neighbor, neighbor State, State Farm, Farm is there. Is there. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say it, man. It looks like someone's turbo boosting out there. It's not an accident. They earned that in the gym. Ironic, considering they patched speed boosting. I mean, you could focus on a bunch of streetball games, but that's not really gonna raise your stock given the competition. Wait, I thought the city had great hoopers. Bruh, you so cringe, dude. Dude, that is not cringe. Bro, you cringe. Man, I'm not about to sit here and argue with you about what's cringe. So you gonna tell me what's on your mind or not? That interaction was cringe. There's just something about Barbara and her team, though. I mean, it's just, they pique my interest. I really feel like she got this unique vision. Like she could really hook us up with some more outside the box kind of things. Bro, just say you want to fuck. Yeah, you're thinking it too. Phone, right now we are currently in our home stretch, at least as far as finalizing agencies right. goes. The missing puzzle piece for me is really just what each team's vision is for MP. Right now we're on the home stretch, at least in terms of building this car goes. The missing piece for me is the entire fucking engine. We're not in the final stages if we don't know their vision. When it comes to gender equality, the sports business is stuck in the Stone Age and we rose to the top because we refused to let anybody else's idea of who or what we should be define us. And that is what we want for you. W sales pitch, we'll knock off some points. 
I'm gonna actually stay behind with them and just drill out some finer detail points. But I'll catch up with you. I copy that. What does that even mean? What'd you think, MP? Where's your head at? Cue the dry, boring eight minute cutscene. Okay, so right now it's down to you guys and PAA. Okay, okay. So why are you a better fit than them? Who are you working with over there? Uh, uh, Kristen Kelleher and Diane Palmer. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, you know, they'd, uh, they never tell you what I'm gonna tell you, which is that you can have an incredibly lucrative career whether or not you ever step foot on an NBA court. And somehow that pitch worked. Hey, you know what, Charles? Man, we got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. So let's talk, Charles. What kind of percentages we looking at? <laughs> Yo, they use random buzzwords and hope that I wouldn't notice. My whole life's about to change. Are y'all not understanding that? Probably need some food. You want, you want me to Ricky, get you some water? Stop. <laughs> no, wait, 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 listen. Tell listen. for a second. Now, I appreciate the effort, but this forced conflict is tough to watch. Mr. Lesser, sir, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I got him right here. One sec. Don't say Detroit. Don't say Detroit. Don't say Detroit. Hello? MP, Harvey Lesser here. Congratulations. You're the newest member of the New Orleans Pelicans. Thank God, but that's five points for the cringy dance. What, you want me to sit here and explain all the things that I've done for you in my life? But what about how much I've done for you, cliche? I have one issue that I need to address like the numbers on the house. And that issue is MP. There's no way I walked all across the city to watch a video off your phone. You could have easily texted me. You hear, you ever hear of an NBA player with a YouTube channel? Michael Jordan didn't have no YouTube channel. Nah, that's double points for keeping in the stutter. You know you could have recorded another take. It might be a while before you get some serious playing time. Okay, there's a lot of egos involved here. And coach is not the type to back down. Nah, the GM overruled the coach to draft me? That's good conflict. You mentioned going public. What that look like? I actually think that's a good option for you. And I get to air out my coach on social media for hating on me. We can take a couple more points off. The NBA 2K22 story was not only good, it was great. And it was great not because like the story was prolific. At the end of the day, it's a basketball game. There's only so much you can do. But my goodness, did they knock out the RPG. I just, I was blown away with how much I wanted to continue playing just to get my MVP points to get the penthouse. I've never felt that like much of a grind in 2K ever. I don't know, bro. I'm getting cold feet now homie getting cold feet to heighten the conflict cliche just can't be happy to see my friend and what else that's just an objectively awful camera angle now add 10 extra points because this specific cutscene kept glitching on me the entire story uh 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 mp in the place to be uh, hanging with me in a bumble uh ah, nah, uh come on bro finish that bar what you what you doing <laughs> nah, i can't even come up with that stuff like you do off the top of the head cringy segue to talk about your rap career check if you're not into film, you probably didn't notice this, but depending on the height you make your character when you build it, your player's either short or tall. And to account for that in the cutscenes, because 2K can't have custom camera angles depending on the heights, 2K actually just gives you a ton of headspace. So in a lot of these cutscenes, unless your player's over seven foot, there's just like an enormous amount of headspace, like way more than you need. Tony, roll the track. Oh, this is Tony, the sound guy. Hey, what's up, Tony? I didn't even see you, bro. My bad. How you doing? Was 2K just lazy to add another voice actor? I I can't tell. Okay, here's the thing. We only had access to that studio one time, and it's, it's expensive, Charles. So you could afford a brand new apartment, but not another hour of studio time. That's suspect. I can tell just by looking at you that you're not a serious musician. How can you tell that, Chief? Intuition. Mm. I can't tell you how, but that was racist. Your track will be added to our playlist for a term of no greater than one week. They look all I'm asking for. So you're a superstar on YouTube, but the thing that's gonna take your rap career off is some promo in a small vinyl store? The scientist of style, mixing up the vials. What's funny, bro? You. Nah, that's objectively funny. Deduct the point for that. You gotta do what you gotta do. I gotta do what I gotta do because we both gotta put food on our tables, okay? It's not personal. Because airing out your coach on social media is exactly how you should be putting food on the table. That makes sense. If you can't see that, you got a lot more growing up to do than I thought. Nah, he let the coach get the final word and walk off. And you know what that little channel of his, he wants the drama. Look, Kendrick, let's try it again. This time, read what's actually on the paper. Hey, Adriana, is Charles in today? Oh, you remembered my name. Um, he's in the conference room, head on in. He's waiting for you. Yeah, she wants to f 
The controversy himself. Mr. Controversy. Bro, this was your idea. Taking no responsibility to stir up some drama cliche. Now, once you see the headspace, you can't unsee it, and the film nerd in me is highly frustrated about it. And were you reprimanded? Perhaps? Like I said, Frank, I'm gonna keep those discussions between us, but our relationship is, is great. It's even better than great, so. Agree to talk to a reporter, only to say absolutely nothing. Stop it. A paragraph of subtitles is absolutely unacceptable. This point moving forward, 60% of the story is just like fluffed post-game interviews. I know I wouldn't want this YouTube star on my team after all that. I hate to say I told you so, but if the shoe fit, where? I'm sorry, it's another point for bad voice acting and being on my dick recreationally. If you already made an appointment with your agents. I did that when the rumors broke. I figured they were just gonna tell you to weather the storm, but. The manager that always knows what to do, cliche. Adriana, hey, is Barbara here? Of course, she's in her office waiting for you. You can head right on in. I'm an NBA player, but my dick is dry. It makes no fucking sense. And two. Yeah, MP's desire to find a new basketball home. Mm, player empowerment. Here <laughs> we go. All right. Um. So first, you need to let us know where you want to call home. Hold on. Did the voice actor just go off script? Come on, call me adorable. Yeah. Given that Harvey's pet draft pick just demanded a trade. The other option is we apply pressure ourselves. Speed up the process. Continue repeating the same mistake cliche. Becoming a public enemy cliche. Nah, using the encore audience's audio in the player locker room for ambiance is lazy. You're making it impossible for your GM who overruled his coach to draft you, by the way, to get a good return for you. I, I can't even debate that. It's kind of crazy how similar this apartment is to our last one, huh? Kind of freaked out, to be honest with you. You know that, like, three companies build all the high-rises in the city. It's not that crazy. This is depressing, bro. The sameness of it all. What is this? I can't tell if this is funny or sad, but he's right, so... Do you know about location-effective field goal percentages? Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, for those who don't, it's a way of keeping track of how efficient your shots are. <laughs> Explaining it anyways is hilarious. Okay, okay. I didn't peg you as the romantic type, Oh, uh, come on, man. I got dimensions, John. Way more than just a ball player, I got an artistic side, a sensitive side, an academic side, you name it, I got a side, man. I must have totally missed the part of the story where he showcased his personal side. Yo, this right here is the laziest subtitling I've seen in my life. This paragraph lasts for 30 seconds in the cutscene. <laughs> what the f Look, I'm ready to put in that work. All right, we're gonna take your game to the next level. Here's what I wanna do. Oh, I got you. What the actual fuck? Too much? No, nah, no, nah, look, man, I'm, I'm Gen Z. We overshare, we share. I, I... Why did that line sound like it was written by an old head? Look, we showed that we're the alphas in this league, and at this point, there's no easy opponents. Everyone left is legit. Self-identifying as an alpha is extremely cringe. MP is the truth. No ifs, ands, buts about it. And Smart Money says... He gets it done tomorrow night. Perkins came around, coach came around, the GM is f***ing with me, the fans came around, the reporters came around. I guess winning a championship kind of solves all your problems. It's a basketball game at the end of the day, but that was a solid story. This video right here was focused on like the main story, the actual playing, not the side careers, your actual career. If you want to see me play either the fashion or the rap side career, I played them in their entirety in these two videos here. So go ahead and catch that if you missed it. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.